during this mass. I just pray for all those who are suffering from coronavirus and all those who are in medical field that God may strengthen them. Let us begin our Eucharistic celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us acknowledge all our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to and you, you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I, I have daily sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed, failed, failed to do, through, through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, and I, until he establishes justice on the earth, the coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to its people and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of my people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement, and from the dungeon, those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to be God. God. Our response, the Lord is my light and my salvation. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my light, light and my salvation. salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge, of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my life and my salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be raged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and, and my salvation. salvation. Glory to you, O Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, O Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Hail to you, our King who alone are compassionate with all our faults. Glory to you, O Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served, while Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a liter of costly perfumed oil made from genuine aromatic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas the Scaria, one of his disciples, and the one who would betray him, said, why was this oil not sold for 300 days wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money back and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. A large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priest plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear friends. Good morning, sir. We are in the Holy Week. Holy Week is the most important week in the church year. It is a time to reflect upon the crucifixion, death, and resurrection of Jesus and the message Jesus gives us. Today's Gospel gives us two persons for our reflection. Mary, who anointed Jesus' feet, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Mary brought very costly perfumed oil and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. Judas questioned her acts by telling it should have been sold and the money given to the poor. He said this not because he had a special love for the poor, but he was a thief. Mary and Judas are portrayed as types of true and false disciples, respectively. Mary is extravagant in the display of her love for Jesus. Her devotion to Jesus was total and unabashed. Jesus appreciated her gesture of love because it was genuine and pure as the perfume she poured on his feet. On the other hand, Judas is portrayed as a thief and a deceitful person. 
my dear friends is our love for Jesus hypocritical life of Judas or pure life that of Mary name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen. Let us pray for our various intentions and needs. With Martha and Mary and all faithful disciples of Jesus, we pray for those who serve at the church's table. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who anoint the elect with grace and care, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who provide hospitality to travelers and the lost, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who care for the weary feet of the poor and the homeless, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who remember and keep alive the memory of holy women, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who bathe the sick and tend their wounds, we pray especially for those who tend the wounds and who tend those who are afflicted with coronavirus. We pray for all the hospital personnel who give of themselves so generously and at great risk. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We, 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 uh, we pray for those who await the, their place among the sisterhood, sisterhood of the redeemed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for repose of the soul of Miguel Acuna. May he rest in God's peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And we have prayed for the intention of Mary Angelica Tercy. May the Lord bless her today and every day we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us take a moment now to know the prayer that we hold within our own hearts and to raise up that prayer before the Lord. And together now we join our prayers as we pray the Lost Lord Prayer for our vocation. God our Father, we give you thanks for calling us to embrace the gift of life and to share it. As once with Jesus the Christ, you chose the first disciples to proclaim the good news and pour out your spirit upon the church. Renew us now in our vocation and our mission of reconciliation. Let the same call echo in the heart of many young persons, that they may generously respond to the needs of our brothers and sisters after the example of Mary, the beautiful Lady of La Salette, inspired in men and women of our time, the desire to be light and salt in the church and in the world. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's souls here. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incur, bear for us food in eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, holy for almighty and eternal God. For through the same passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this kiss we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly in his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new one eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The for the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And now at home, in our domestic church, we invite you to pray with us an act of spiritual communion. As you cannot be here at home, receive the Lord now. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. As I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We sit your paper, O oh Lord, we pray. And with ever watchful love, Look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which by your mercy we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.